Yep, it's me, Dan, doing my first Let's Play video in quite a while. And since fall is here now, I figured I'd pick an appropriate title. One I did a YouTube poop of nine years ago. Mercer Mayors? Little Monster at school? Yep. Hi! I'm Little Monster! Yep, back when Little Monster Welcome actually sounded Monster. like a kid, compared to, to in the Smelly Mystery, you, when, press this in the button. Smelly Mystery, where he had a man's voice. If you want to play inside this story, press this button. Yeah, and this he's voiced by Aaron Schlichting, son of developer Mark Schlichting. It's a pretty generic 90s theme song here. I can't imagine such a theme like this while working with your little monster private eye. In that case, the James Bond theme sounds better. The dancing animation is pretty good, though. Of course, these games are pretty state-of-the-art for their time. Considering this game came out, like, about 28 years ago now. <laughs> and it made me feel a little old. It still works pretty well. Actually, this is the first Let's Play I'm doing on my M1 MacBook Air, <laughs> but it's working out with the jazzy piano. Okay, let's let's start the story. Okay. The generic theme again. <laughs> That's cute. The way the way Kirby snores and the way the toy moves. Yeah, and this the Kerplopis acts like a dog. And, uh, Compared to when he's Detective Kerplopis and he talks like Sean Connery and stands as... Early in the morning, <laughs> oh, Look at Little Monster. It looks like me when I had to get up on get the up, mornings for high school. It's time for school. In the original book, there's no window on the wall there. But there is a note that says, wake up early, school tomorrow. Yeah, about oh, Kirby here, like... Ruff, ruff. And several of the other older Little Monster books, like from like 1978 to 79, he acts like a like a dog. But in the, not like the Professor Wormbog stories and the Little Monster Private Eyes stories where he talks. And in the case of the latter, he's anthropomorphic. <laughs> the cute little toy. <laughs> Huh. Sounds like the Seinfeld bass, kinda. <laughs> you sound like a parrot for a sec. <laughs> that stock rooster crow. The one that was heard in quite a few Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> the reveal fanfare. Appropriate for waking up in the morning. That rendition of the Blue Danube Waltz was taken from Arthur's Teacher Trouble. Again, inspired by 2001 A Space Odyssey. I always love this one. The... My room. Yeah, it'd be like my <laughs> the weird echo effect. Early in the school. Early in the bullseye. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of the bullseye. Now here's the running gag. Zipper up a zoo. He does, he does indeed appear in the drawer on that page in the book, but he's not on every page in the actual book. Oh, the ooze. <laughs> the old link from Goofy C. Artist Skiing. <laughs> Alright, we've got everything on this page. Little monster! Yeah, how the mom Coming wears mom. a bow in her hair and 
and several I'm of the 1978 books like I'm this. To breakfast. But she doesn't in the smelly mystery. Pop says, What will you have this morning? Eggs or cereal with milk? <laughs> yep, in the book they indeed use those pictures to symbolize them. This game does use quite a few of those Disney cartoon track sound effects. One of my favorite sound effect libraries to work with. Mmm! Yeah, notice the baby's ears. Oh, they're small. In the actual books, he has bat-shaped kind of ears like the rest of the monsters do. <clears throat> Probably because in the illustration, he's crying. And this is the reason why, here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love how the big sister says, uh-oh, and Kirby eats up the spilled baby. Yeah, that illustration of him crying is what's used in the book. Oh. And then the big sister. Good morning. Good morning. Found you, Zipper Rumpazoo. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> Seeing it. Oh, what the? Huh? Hmm. Yeah. He had only one line really in the slime. He's like, and we can't eat it. As of the completely different voice cast and production team. Let's give little monster his breakfasts. May I have eggs, please? <laughs> and she fries them, and then the shells fix themselves as she does that. Thank you. And he'll also have this. May I have cereal, please? He'll have a big cereal. It doesn't say it's the first day of school or anything. Thank you. It's probably just a regular, typical school day or something. Duh. Milk. Does nothing, though. After breakfast, I brush my teeth and get ready to go. I have lots of school stuff to carry with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he brushes. Yeah, in the book, <clears throat> each one of these has the word next to it, as if it were a word book on that page. Pencils. Lunchbox. <laughs> it's like you, a stand-up comic. That reminds me. What'd the apple say to the orange? Why don't you make like a banana and split? <laughs> of course, as a kid, I thought it was pretty funny. Compared to when I'm older. Notebook? Man, a smile. My book. <clears throat> Crayons. Same Calliope stock music that would also show up in a few Arthur episodes, and on the DuckTales one, too. And I also used it in a Pingu YouTube poop. And the apple for the teacher. Who gives an apple to the teacher again nowadays? The old worm in the apple bit. I can't imagine what must be like to live in a house where random stuff like that ha this happens. But I guess in the living book schemes, everyone's used to it. Oops. <laughs> Sounds weird, though. There's the Super Rumpazoo. He doesn't talk in this game, though. He just makes all those goofy sounds. Hmm. Probably I'd have to rub the water on really hot for it to steam up the mirror. Like of a shower. Hi! <laughs> oh! 
And he tells the new of honor to clean up the mess. Little monster. You're gonna be late for school. I'll be right there, Mom. Hmm. Mom, walks me to school. <laughs> Walking to the beat of the generic 90s theme music. And then she disappears. Oh, little laugh. Some of my friends come on a bus. <laughs> little laugh clones. And some other kind of creature. <laughs> Pavement markings were left on the road. Hate to be in that house when the bird falls into it. Ooh. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hmm. An apartment or something. That's a good animation of the bird dancing. Here's Yally Yalla Pappas. I bet I won't have any fun today. Yes, we will. An actual kid's voice. Kind of liked it better, though, of course, in the Smelly Misty when he had a German sounding accent. Here's Grandella. I hope we get a really good story today. Are we late yet? Not yet, dear. But you don't want to be late for school. Down, Jews, Zipper Rumpazoo. Sounds like Carl Stalling Looney Tunes music that way. Oh, and a little laugh. <laughs> He's wearing a shirt, because usually in other, other books, like it's some of the other little monster stuff and the Professor Warmbog stories, little laugh is nude. Hi, little laugh. Hey! <laughs> There's a cute voice here. Like school, S K U O A L. Good morning, all you little monsters. Welcome. It's the principal. Let's see, and then uh, with the little laugh, how how here he's friendly too. The, <laughs> but laughs a lot, hence his name. Compared to when the smelly mystery made him be a prankster. All right, let's go. Generic theme place again. Bye, Mom. <laughs>